GL codes in RMS 9 are used for reporting on your revenue. They are not used to charge a guest's account for items, but instead where the revenue from that item will be reported against. By breaking down your GL codes, you are able to easily identify where your revenue is derived from. You may choose to copy your GL codes from an external system, for example, QuickBooks or Myob. By entering your codes in this way, you can easily enter your revenue into your back office accounting system. Ten system account codes will be set in your database by default. These cannot be removed and are used in the system when performing certain functions, for example, refunds or online fees. Some mainstream examples of GL codes you may choose to enter include one for each accommodation type. This is highly recommended by RMS. Others can be shop items, hire items, cancellation fees or cleaning fees. There is no limit to the number of GL codes that you may enter into your database. GL codes can link to many items within your database. Some of these include your accommodation types, sundry charges, and rates. An example of how GL codes are used can be seen on the charge report. Here you can see the charges applied today show revenue against specific GL codes. To add GL codes in RMS 9, go to the Setup menu, Accounting, then choose GL ACK codes. Once on the Setup screen, select Add. Enter your GL ACK code. This can be a short description or your accounting package codes. Each code entered must be unique. Enter a short description of your GL code. This will also appear on your reports. Grouping is used to group account codes together, giving you a grand total of those grouped on your financial reports. Trust grouping is used to group account codes together for owner statements in systems that use owner or trust accounting. To learn more about groupings, please refer to our groupings tutorial. These can be set at a later date. Once all information has been entered, select Save Next to add your next GL code. 